a sip of coffee and oh shoot hang on one two one two three how's that is that better oh shoot no matter what i do this thing always looks freaking crooked it's not crooked i'm, I'm telling you it's level so i i don't know how to fix that but anyway sorry i'm looking at the, the wrong place i should be looking at you instead of the the monitor anyway but i'm marcus tate and this is tate's travel and today we're talking about my favorite state montana What? Say hello. This is Keanu. <laughs> Say hello. Alright, you get down. You're sneaky. Woo. Sorry about that. So West Yellowstone is probably the closest town to the Yellowstone National Park. And West Yellowstone is located in Montana. It's about a mile, mile outside of the park. As you can guess, it's probably a popular place for people to go and camp and stay and lodge and because it's so close to the park. We were eager to get up to our campground in Lewis Clark Caverns, just about 10 miles outside of Three Forks. We had a few hours to, to be driving, so we didn't stay long, but we did learn that there's a lot of scenic drives in the area and a lot of trails in different places you can go hiking. So we drove through the town, checked it out. We found a little, um, little mom and pop restaurant and the sandwiches were just outstanding. They're very delicious. And after that, we gassed up and we get on the road. It was fun to see uh, Amy's eyes when we came into Montana. I was waiting for her reaction to see it because she had seen Wyoming and she had fell in love with Wyoming and Montana. She saw, you know, all the, just nothing but mountains, the river running beside us the whole entire time. It started pouring, torrential downpour on us in the van. It's it so neat to see the expression on her face. It's just like this wow factor, you know, her eyes wide open and just like, oh my gosh, you know, and uh, yeah, so that was pretty cool. Back in 1985, my family uprooted the state of Florida. Unknown reasons, we just moved to Montana. It wasn't like we were running from the law or anything. We, we did, we just got a big U-Haul truck, packed everything in it, and uh, so we stayed there for a few years, and the first couple of years we stayed there in a little town called Willow Creek, Montana. I think it was population like 50, maybe 50 families. It wasn't a whole lot of people. It might have been more. After living there for a couple of years, we moved uh, to Three Forks. Uh, there's about six miles between Willow Creek and Three Forks. And Three Forks was a little bigger town. Uh, I think population maybe 500 then. I see the uh, census reports now and it's more like, I think a couple thousand or probably more. When we moved out there, I was excited because I was this pale kid, probably the only pale kid in Florida, right? Because everybody's got a tan here. I was thinking, okay, there's going to be a bunch of other pale kids I can meet and make friends with. And everybody was tan. Everybody had these nice uh, brown, dark tans when I got here. So I was the only pale kid in Montana. But uh, I met met some friends right away when we lived in Willow Creek. And we all went to the same school, uh, elementary, middle school, and, and high school there. And uh, there's only two other kids in my, my grade. Uh, it would have been sixth grade, seventh grade, and eighth grade. I went to Willow Creek, Montana. I did ninth grade was in high school back then. And that was after we moved to Three Forks that I went to ninth grade. My time spent in Willow Creek was awesome. I mean, you, you got odd jobs from farmers. You went hunting a lot. We pulled weeds for, for 
neighbors that had gardens who would spend all their money on uh, the Dig Dug machine at the Bluebell. Now the Bluebell was a restaurant, half of it was a bar, and the other half was was the restaurant. I was at the sit down Dig Dug machine just uh, throwing quarters away. Shovel snow um, in the winters just to get out of the house. It was, it was just a, it was a great time, great experience for me as a kid. Different, different kind of lifestyle, different kind of place. Um, everybody pretty much knew your business, so, which, you know, um, small towns, but uh, small towns also have a lot of quirks to them, a lot of good things, and, and uh, I just remember that part of my life and I'll never forget it. Standing in front of the Willow Creek Elementary, Middle School, High School in Willow Creek, Montana. That's school here. Pretty cool. I pushed this back in the 80s. A while ago. It's pretty cool. Go back memory lane. That's all new. But my sister, she used to love those things. Remember those, Pam? There was a sit and spin somewhere over here, but not there anymore. After, after living in Willow Creek for uh, a few years, uh, we moved uh, to Three Forks, like I said, and is a, is, there's an old A&W drive-in, which it was closed when we went there this time, but uh, the, the, A &I, uh, the A&W drive through was where I spent most of my time there. I worked at a chicken farm, pulling chickens in and out of cages, and uh, probably, probably shouldn't tell you because I was paid under the table. I remember spending a lot of time at the A&W on the Super Mario machine. So if you see a pattern here of me playing video games when I'm younger. So <laughs> that's what I spent all my money on. Well, there's a little town, um, a lot of brick buildings and stuff like that. And uh, there's a five and dime store. There's a laundromat, and a, few, uh, a bar, and a, the sheriff's office was in the back of the bar, I remember. I think they called them constables or something back then. But... Uh, it was it's just a cool time and then my older brother moved out there with us the older kids had these hot rod cars like Camaros and stuff like that and uh, me and my brother would just cruise up and down listen to our cassette tapes if you remember what those are and uh, jam out music and just go up and down the strip and of course they would they would do some racing on the highways in between because you know what else the kids older kids do there you know I never never was bored I always found something to do somewhere to go somewhere to explore and uh, it, was, it was fun. I remember my mom and I used to fast walk up and down all the streets. There was a bunch of streets going left and right and a bunch of streets going up and down and uh, crisscrossing. And uh, we fast walked every night through, through all those things. We were, we were quick. It was almost like jogging. There was a, a park that we used to go to not far from our house that was, uh, has a big lake. And the lake was still there when we visited. And it used to freeze over during the winter. And uh, we'd take the 
you know, jump in the car with the older kids, my older brother, and we would uh, go out on the lake on the cars. It would be, be that frozen over that you could do that. And then during the summers, we would just swim in the lake, and there was a there's a tree. It was my favorite place to go. It had a swing on it, a rope swing, and you climb up, get on the rope swing, and then you just swing off, and we do that all day long. I remember uh, my brother and I would also jump off these bridges, these old uh, train trestle uh, bridges, and uh, be scared to death because you'd have to walk up on top and then jump in the river and pray that the, the water's, uh, there's no rocks in there or, you know, that it's deep enough to jump into. And, you know, we're just little daredevils and uh, just, just so much fun. Montana's is beautiful wherever you go. And then on the way out of Three Forks, we ate at this uh, Iron, Iron Horse Cafe. Uh, it was great. I just remember the food was so, so, so good. It wasn't there when, when I lived there, but uh, apparently it's pretty popular because a lot of people go there to eat. Get a chance to go back there, you know, 30 some odd years later to, to, to see, uh, see what it had become and, you know, some of it looked the same and a lot of it looked completely different. So, brought back a lot of memories though. I found my old house and it was still there. Of course, there was a guy on the porch and I felt like a, a what do you call it, peeping Tom or a stalker or something. Because we, we drove around the block several times so I could get some pictures of it and show my mom and brother and sister. And So we made it back to our campground, which is Lewis and Clark Cavern State Park, which I remember as a kid, and I, and I shared the stories with Amy that paid to go into the caverns, and it's a guide, you have to be with a guide, it's a guided tour, you have to make reservations in advance. There are some tunnels where you have to get really low and like crawling almost, and I just remember bats hanging over our heads. 
we didn't get a chance an opportunity to go into the caverns because we were kind of on a time crunch by the time we got back to the campground and our next stop was glacier national park Yay! so we knew we had some more driving ahead of us the next day but the campground is just it's awesome i think the campground's at 4,300 feet when you go in there's a big visitor center they have uh, 40 uh, 40 camp spots a couple of cabins and a teepee you can reserve those online if you want to stay at those and they have some walk-in spots for hikers and and bikers when they come there and you're just surrounded by all these hills um these green rolling hills and you're like in this valley sort of sort of a uh, scene area and it's just beautiful and they're wide open campgrounds and uh nice facilities they got a dump station on the way out it cost five bucks but hey it was worth it I uh, hope you enjoyed it. You know, I hope you liked it. Thanks for sta uh, sticking around. We have another Montana video coming up. This one was kind of a walk down memory lane. So I hope you enjoyed it. I um, just wanted to share some, some memories I had of living out there in Montana and the experience. If you like our channel and like our videos, subscribe. Give us a thumbs up, like. It uh, helps our channel grow, uh, become part of our community. I am working on, uh, a lot of people have asked me, you know, what's going on with the website. And uh, so um, I have a lot of plans for the website. It's going to be really huge and uh, a lot of different things going on in the future so stick with us takes travel appreciate you and we'll see you later i'm just saying this box here oh it's going to be a van life game changer right here we haven't opened them yet we got them in the mail probably about four days ago and i wanted to open these so bad there's two of them but amy wants to open them unbox them together we haven't done that unboxing that's supposed to be a game changer for us. I don't know. We'll see.